Hello guys, Janos here and welcome to the global launch of Indie Slice. This game is provided to us by Playbest Games and now let's see what sort of gameplay features and battle mechanics this new mobile strategy game has to offer to us. Right now I'm in the lobby screen and I have selected this particular hero unit known as the Karma Twin and she is definitely an amazing wife. She looks hot, right? But if I want I can uh, select different hero unit in order to proceed to the game. Uh, first unit is gonna be this Albert, second is gonna be Karma Twin, next is gonna be Daniel, next is gonna be the Johnson, uh, next is gonna be a villain, and finally it's gonna be Diego, alright? But I'm actually gonna go with the Karma Twin because, well, the waifu rocks, and uh, every different unit has their own separate uh, set of skills, like exclusive skill and the secret skill that comes in a form of card. Yes, it's a card strategy game, okay? So yeah, there we go, like Hearthstone, <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's pretty much like that, guys. Anyways, now let's go into the new adventure and let's fight against the opponents. Let me show you guys how the battle mechanics really work in this game okay so first of all guys let us choose the bonus out here like opt into random items choose one card from 20 cards to replace a starting strike card uh, okay i'm just gonna go with the opt into random items okay that's gonna be good enough i guess all right, this is going to be our statue or our unit or our team. And we have to go through this strategical map right over here. That is like a puzzle, okay? And we have to go to the uh, end, like, uh, to fight against the main boss so that we can clear this stage right over here. Last time, I kind of got my ass kicked real hard. Anyways, let's go and let's try to interact with the uh, various uh, uh, tiles. And uh, let's see what's going to happen in this game, okay? So for now, look at that. My wife, you see, looks so amazing. <laughs> right so let's attack this shit right over here okay so there we go look at that boom and let's end it okay there we go that's nice uh he only did like two attack uh, i'm mean, like two damage let's uh, use the attack card this attack card right over here as well oh the opponent is already down pretty fast huh choose one card reward or 15 gold i would say i will go with the gold okay because there are so many things that uh i might have to buy later <laughs> okay so obtain one item let's go and let's proceed okay so let's try to go into the market uh, this is the place where we are gonna be Ooh. Ooh, look at that amazing wife you says shiny and says glossy okay <laughs> all right so that's it we have got a skill card we have got power card we have got a skill card and we have got attack card so what am i supposed to go for oh it's a discount right over here okay apply eight fire exhaust and fire runes attached to attack okay so i think i can go with this one if i want oh uh, while target is uh, okay okay i can i think i can go with this add okay all right so I think I need to go with this one as well. Let's add it. Oh, no. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, let's go on. Let's move forward. Okay, everything is auto-save because this is an online game. All right, so there we go. We have got a set of cards. It really does remind me of the Hearthstone, but it has an action mechanic to it as well. Not just the cards, but the character itself as well. And we have got a wife unit right over here as well. So that is pretty great. So I'm going to use the attack. Attack. Okay, right over there. Oh, shit. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, you just cannot use the skills just like that. They are going to cost some uh, cost, okay? They have like this, like, for example, this card right over here has like one cost. This one, one cost. This one, zero cost. So I think I can use this one right over here. Yes, there we go. That's nice. And the uh, total number of costs that you are going to be able to use this turn is going to be indicated right over here on the left-hand side of the screen, okay? So most of the time, in average, we are going to get three cost per turn. Okay, so we have to use the cost wisely. So anyways, uh, let's end the turn right over here because uh, I think I cannot do anything after that. See, it refreshed. So it's three over three, okay? More the units have, more the cost it's gonna be actually, all right? So try to have more units later on. Uh, try to hire them. Okay, let's attack, let's attack. Boom, there we go. And uh, wow, he nearly died, but it's still alive. Okay, no damage. All right, that was a passive damage. Let's try to get the gold. Okay, let's go. Let's proceed. And let's go to this uh, question mark and uh, obtain 75 gold, but I'm going to lose 11 HP. Should I actually do that? Okay, go on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. That's that's a lot of money, guys, okay? I'm a biatch when it comes to a lot of golds, okay? So, well, let's go for it. Oh, we are going to fight against the golden. So, anyways, guys, overall, look at it. The graphic looks pretty great, all right? It kind of looks sketchy, gothic, but I would say it's pretty good game. It's pretty good game, okay? Nothing to really complain about. Uh, like, there's no loading issues. Everything is working perfectly fine. The um, graphics, pretty satisfactory. I would give it like 8 over 10. And the gameplay mechanics right away, it's 9 over 10. It's very, very, uh, like, you know, entertaining, okay? I think there are so many players out there who would actually want to invest on a card strategy game. And then I think this game is totally worth investing in. 
Look at it, man. Oh, wow. Like, okay. I can only use skill. Is that it? All right. So because, like, I just got a little bit, you know, like, uh, how to say, immobilized over there. So I cannot use a, a skill. I uh, like attack skills. So there we go. Let's attack it. Let's attack it. And let's try to use the skills so that, like, I can uh, block the attack from the opponent as much as possible. Your turn. Okay, let's do it, guys. So what's going to what's gonna happen? Attack, attack, and, uh, hmm, attack. The specialist skill. Oh, shit. It didn't work that nice, huh? Okay, I'm actually. I, oh, wow, that was that was pretty harsh. I actually take a lot of damage. I should have actually blocked that. So I'm gonna go with this. Oh shit! I think I could have actually killed him if I had like done next attack. Okay, let's try to use the talent sparks this time. Talent spark. It actually improves our talent so that we will be able to do more damage, or let's say we can be more. Uh, productive out there in the battlefield or let's say we can be more effective out there in the battlefield boost our performance look at this because of these passive skills right over here at the start of each combat grant all enemies aid fire so I would say I can go with that one that's pretty great okay it can really help me a lot all right so uh, current talent spark zero okay so well that's pretty much it can I actually get that oh can I get it as well Wow <laughs> okay that's great Gain 8 block, get, add 1 inside, uh, deal 45 damage to all enemies. Okay, so I can I can go with that. Alright, so, uh, well, add. Let's just add it, okay? I'm gonna add it to my list. Okay, and uh, let's try to check out. Bloodshed 1, deal 32 damage and draw 2. Oh, wow, that is so good. I like that card. Gain 5, ex uh, five psychic and exhaust, okay? Uh, all gain... Three strength when exhausted, um, uh, persist, rune, and something like a dual to L da damage. View top three cards from the draw pile, discard any number of them. Huh, what should I go with? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Let's add it to, to, to my list, okay? So I think I'm pretty much out of the gold. Only 14 gold left. Let's try to go for this. Let's see what I can do. Rune, let's get it. Oh, uh, so what should I get? Gain one energy. Energy runes. Remove one random enemy positive effect. No, put one or of three cards from top of the draw pile. Hand opportunity runes. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one right up here. Energy rune. That's gonna be more helpful. Uh, attach. Should I attach old brew? Okay, or let's see bloodshed. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the fate. Uh, okay, let's go with the fate. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, there we go. And uh, old brew. Okay, attach. Nice. <laughs> Bloodshed, attach. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, that's it. I don't know what I did, but <laughs> you guys guess it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Uh, another market, but well, I've got nothing here. I mean, like, because I've got no gold, so I pretty much got kicked out. Let's try to get another rune. Uh, Retach uh, one card till the end of the combat. Put one out. Okay, it's still three HP from the enemy. Okay, I like that. Vampire, that's pretty awesome. Because I need some way to replenish my health. That would be really amazing. Collapse. Okay, attach. Boom, there we go. That's nice. And uh, let's go for that. And uh, I think I can uh, pray. Yes. Uh, no one to resurrect. Bless. Yes. I think Bless is pretty good enough. And let's go and let's fight against the main villains. Okay, so these are the villains right over here. Look at them. They look pretty awesome. All right. So, well, let's uh, get them real good this time. All right. Last time I kind of actually lost this battle. Oh, this time I think the opponents are pretty weak. Okay. Oh, shit. I already used like three energy. Jesus Christ. That is so hard. <gasps> Oh, man, with that block, I'm pretty vulnerable to attacks. Okay, can I use that? Oh, that's a lot of damage. My God, I like that. Okay, strike, strike. Yes, I'm going to go with the strike. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do much damage. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. He actually just uh, chose to, you know, like, um, um, charge his attack. Bloodshed. Yes, that's great. And uh, defense. Let's go for that. Attack. Boom, there we go. And turn. All right. That's nice. All right. He's down. Uh, not down. I'm like, he, his HP is like draining pretty fast. And uh, yeah, let's use the fate card. Let's go for the attack card. Let's use the skill card so that I can block the attacks. Boom. There we go. No damage at all. That's pretty awesome. I like that. And uh, let's go for this. Lots of damage. Boom. There we go. That's the reason why I chose that card a while ago. So this is pretty much it, guys. That's how you are going to play this game. Gain two energy. I think I'm going to with, go with this one. 100 gold is going to be pretty good for me. And now I can add allies 
to my team. So I think I'm gonna go with this guy right over here because he's the one who is gonna provide me defense. So I'm gonna go with uh, this character in the front. So I'm gonna confirm, okay? And yeah, the another problem with this game is that like there is gonna be an ad. Okay, whenever you are done with a particular, you know, like stuff, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of ad, which is pretty sad indeed. Okay, this game has a little bit of that uh, forceful issues. Okay, so well, and uh, that's it, guys. Uh, look at it, change formation. We can do that. Uh, let's go for the settings. Chapter one, chapter two. Okay, well, save and quit. Uh, settings. We have got second settings out here as well. We have got guides out here as well. Look at that. It actually teaches you what actually happens in this game. Pretty awesome stuff. All right. So well, save and quit. Yeah, there we go. Now we are back into the lobby store, uh, lobby screen, and let me show you guys the story contents. Okay, so look at this. If you want to check out the story of a certain, uh, you know, like unit, you can actually check it out right over here. Story adventure, so on. I'll unlock all clues, and then we are able to see that. Okay, about yes, there is a little bit of lore uh, behind these scenes of that particular uh, unit. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And we have got other stuff out here. Camps. Look at it. Okay, look, look at this. So there's a little bit of like, you know, background stuff. Next is gonna be the library. Let's check out the items. Yes, these are the items that I've uh, unlocked so far. There are a lot of other items that I got unlock. Next is gonna be the partners. Look at this, there are a lot of partners right over here. Wow, look at that, man. We got a lot of waifus in this game, okay. They are definitely uh, like really good. Like, you know, like they, they look pretty awesome, man. Look at that, oh my God. This game has done real good. Look at that, oh my. Okay, so well, that's it. And uh, next is gonna be the cards. Okay, so you can actually check out the cards right over here as well. Uh, but you need to possess them in order to have a really good detail on them. All right. So, anyways, that's it. Uh, next is gonna be the creatures. Okay, look at this. If you want to check out like what are the types of opponents that you are gonna be facing or what you have faced so far, you can check them out right over here. Look at this. That's all. Uh, that's it. Beast, uh, evil spirit, and so on and on. Look at that. Evil uh, Chief, uh, Red Pilots, they actually deal a lot of damage. Leaderboard, yes, we have got a leader, leader, leaderboard skill as well. Oh yeah, that's it guys. And uh, well, the thing is, if we want to like, you know, like unlock like, like all the chapters, guess what guys, we have to pay. All right, so this game is a little bit pay to play game. Chapter 1 is available to all the players out there, every type of players. Even if you are a free-to-play player, you will be able to use, I mean, like, you will be able to play the Riverbank Reminiscence, okay? But when it comes to the Tide of Steel, uh, Pain of the Ashes, yes, these two, like, you know, like, story contents, they are pretty much locked behind the pay-to-play bar, okay? So you have to really pay. And I really don't think that that's a very high price, okay? It's uh, something about, like, $3.5. Yeah, something $3.5. Just pay $3.5 and you will be able to enjoy that content as well. Known as Tide of Steel and Pain of Ashes. Okay, so that's pretty great. A language, check it out. There are like, I think, uh, three languages available right now. Uh, one is, I think, um, Taiwanese. Next one is Chinese, if I'm not wrong. Next is going to be settings. Okay, look at this. All right. Announcement, no new announcement. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple, yet yeah, so efficient game, guys. I would say this game is pretty much recommendable. And if you would like, if you love this game, I really don't think that it's a really bad idea to, um, like it's not a really bad idea to invest some money into this game. Just $3.5 to open up a chapter. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. No pay to win stuff or shit like that, okay? Just you know, like a pure PVE content where you can actually just enjoy how the game pro progress and collecting all the cards and so much more. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this game? Let me know in the comment section below. So many stuff so many amazing uh, things and definitely amazing wife you right over here doing a lot of stuff and if you are a fan of card game i would say this game is totally recommended to you guys really does remind me of the hearthstone but i think it's uh, way better than the hearthstone if hearthstone i mean like if this game is like 10 hearthstone is somewhere like six for me <laughs> that's how good this game really is that's it see you guys in the next video